cracking of bread echoes round the silent room. The weight of the master's words still looms. Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The point of wine sings amongst held breaths. Again, the master speaks, who is soon to face death. The one who has dipped his hand in the bowl with me will betray me. The group stir, tense and taut, tension tightened, fearfully wrought. Surely not me, not I, not he. It's us, the twelve, the guys you see. It is one of the twelve, the master replied. Eyes dark brown. Which one of these have lied? Which of these men would raise their heel against the one who came to break sin's will? Could it be him? Not you, not he. Thank you, them. Those two, that guy, them three. Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. One of the twelve stands his place, facing the master's sorrowful face. What you are going to do, do it quickly. The man flees the room. Yet the group is none the wiser. Or, or was he calling out the miser? Wait, it's time to panic. The master's been betrayed. Yet he sits there, ready to eat, having just prayed. He beckons the group to take the bread and pass the wine of deep blood red. The crackling of bread echoes around the silent room. The weight of the master's words still looms. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The pouring of wine sings amongst the held breaths. Again, the master speaks, who is soon to face death. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. The group eats and drinks and the panic calms. The master gives thanks in the groups singing songs. Surely for me, for I, for we, the master will die. But just wait for day three.